This is the busiest time of year, so my gift to you are six quick tips on how to grow your channel. Gift number one, how to rank on search as a newbie. Use TubeBuddy's keyword search analyzer and Google Trends to figure out what people are searching for. And use that as a way to frame the topic that you want to create. It's a great way to get contact ideas and to figure out what value you're going to offer your viewers. But don't use it to spam a title or a description. Also, ride waves, so such as a big movie coming out or maybe some sort of holiday themed thing. The next one we have is have a goal. Don't just say you're just gonna get a thousand subscribers or make a million dollars. Have three different types of goals. A reasonable, challenging, and pie in the sky goal. By creating these subsets of goals, I can hit some of them and actually feel better about myself, which will keep me motivated. Otherwise, you're just gonna wake up and think, why am I not monetized? Why don't I have a million subscribers? For me, a reasonable goal is to try and get 30 subscribers this month. A challenging goal would be get at least 50 subscribers this month. And my pie in the sky goal is to get 100 subscribers this month. Oh, I really love this one. This is experiment. If you feel like you're running on a treadmill all the time, making the same video over and over again, stop doing that. Not only will it lead to being burned out, but the audience will feel like you're getting bored as well. Start in a different location. Try a different presentation style for your content. If you have a really cool idea, go ahead and do it. I love using YouTube shorts for this. The weirder I get, the better. All right, what do we have here? Study your competition. The people who are big in your niche are big for a reason. So really study them. And when you're looking at, let's say their thumbnails and titles, I like to do the 50% rule. If their videos are within the last like three months and their view count is half of their subscriber count, that's a pretty well clicked video. And I've gone in and watched some of their most popular videos and actually written down word for word how their hooks go or what kind of leading language they have in order to be able to craft my content to be able to keep my viewers hooked. Especially since thumbnails, titles, and hooks, those are things I struggle with anyway. So instead of reinventing the wheel, just study my competition and be inspired by them. Let's see. The next one is getting feedback. If you have a lot of data, you can just look at your analytics, looking at retention, looking at comments, looking at click-through rate. But if you're a really small channel and you're not getting the kind of data that'll show up in your analytics, then I would do something really scary, which is ask your friends for some feedback. Would they watch the video? What do they like about it? What do they think we're strong? What don't they like? And find people who will be really honest with you. And when I mean honest, I don't mean mean, but people who just won't say, oh, it was great, and just leave it at that. Above all else, don't ask them to subscribe because you're just trying to get some information on how you can make your content better. Really push them to be honest and that you're okay with any sort of feedback they have. Last present is take a break. Don't be afraid to take a break, especially if you're starting to feel a little burned out. The point is, is that we're supposed to have fun with this. And if you're starting to feel down because of the slow progress on your channel, take a break, reanalyze, restudy. YouTube is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And the most important thing for you is to be in the right space to make great content. But sometimes to make those great viral content that we all like, there are some very specific things that you can do to make sure you get a viral video or a well-performing video every single time. And you have to watch this video right here in order to do just that.